Hey guys, this is Ekinjunwen. I have both of these devices running One UI 3.1. We have the S21 Ultra and Note 10 Plus. So today we're going to compare both of these features, which is the quick share and nearby share. And we're going to see which one is faster and convenient. So the first one is the quick share. I'm just going to hold up that very quick. If you toggle this option, you can pick the option to receive the files. You can change the device name. Just like that you can pick either of the option on how to receive the file you can either receive the file only from the contact list or from everyone in S21 you have the new option that says show my position to others so let other people know your position when they quick share with you so you can toggle that on or off totally up to you Anyways, let us see the speed for quick share. Just showing you here that both are enabled. So I'm just gonna share this file. It is 300 megabytes. So just like so, and then quick share. As you can see, it quickly detects, and with a simple tap, the file transfers in few seconds. And yeah, that's basically it. So 300 megabytes in just a few seconds. Now let us try the nearby feature. And I'm just going to show you here that I have the file. So the same file size and it is in same quality. Now let us delete that and test out the nearby share. So as you can see, I didn't have to enable the Bluetooth or the location of both of these devices. Now I'm just gonna go back to quick share and toggle that off and then with nearby share I'm gonna toggle both of them on. You can see that it is asking for Bluetooth, location and Wi-Fi all of them together which is inconvenient and time-consuming. Now going to the settings we have the few options you can share more easily with your contacts so it is straightforward similar to quick share you have the device name, you can change that as well. Then you have the device visibility and the option to pick data or Wi-Fi only. So totally up to you. Anyways, let us try to share a file. So just going to share the same file. So 300 megabytes to nearby share. And you have to make sure that you press nearby share. You have to keep it like that in order to show up on your list. So let us press that. It will ask you to accept the file. So then I'm going to accept it very quick. And as you can see, it's taking a lot of time and like the quick share. So you can see that the file has been received on the device and it automatically plays the video. And I'm just going to show you here again, so the file size is same, no quality has been affected. However, the time it transfer takes more time than the quick share. Anyways, I hope with this video you got the answer which one is faster. And anyways, thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more comparison video or give me any suggestion on the comment section and see you in the next one. Peace out.